What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So although today looks like it's really nice outside, I promise you guys it is absolutely freezing, but that's okay. We're still gonna push through. We're still gonna do some more mods on this X3. And more specifically, we're gonna be doing the last mod that I wanna do to the front end of this X3 to, in my opinion, perfect it. So if you guys are new to the channel or if you're just new to this build, this is a 2018 BMW X3 M40. That does of course mean it has the B58 and this thing is an absolute monster. It honestly already performs like a monster. I only have a JB Plus on it, so it's sort of like a stage one piggyback tune but still enough to make this thing perform like an absolute beast so i've been working on making this thing look as sporty as it drives so on the front end i did a few things just to recap i did some gloss black grills i did some carbon fiber boomerangs i did a carbon fiber front lip from keys motorsports so just looking at it from this angle and just knowing what i've done to my previous cars you guys can probably guess what I'm going to be doing, and if you can't guess, it's going to be this right over here. The orange side markers for these US cars, which I absolutely hate. I think they're really ugly. So today we're going to be swapping these out for some paint match ones. Once we do that, I think this front end is going to be perfect. It's going to look clean. It's going to look aggressive, and it's going to finally look like how it performs. Now you guys probably saw some stuff on the other side, and if you caught on to that, uh, there is a reason that it's there. So obviously, guys, there's two sides to this. You have to do the driver's side and the passenger side. Right now, we're looking at the passenger side uh, because there's two kind of figured I'd just go ahead and do one side. Now I did find a video online showing you how to do it. It was pretty brief and only really visual, like no one was saying anything. So I watched it, just kind of get familiar with it. Uh, and I bought a whole bunch of stuff to basically do it the way that they did it. And I'll be honest with you guys, after I finished the driver's side, I don't think you have to do everything that they did in that video. But let me just show you guys how to install the passenger side, which is gonna be the same way I installed the driver's side. And then after I do it that way, I'll give you guys an example of why you shouldn't do it in the other video's way. But yeah, I know it's probably a little confusing right now, but I promise it'll make a lot more sense later. But for now, guys, let's just install this passenger side, aka the last side I have to do. So the only thing that holds on this side reflector is just a whole bunch of adhesive that goes all along the edge like that now like i said in the intro to this video it is a very very cold day so we're definitely gonna have to heat this up a good amount even if it was a warm day you'd probably still have to heat it up we're gonna do that because we want to soften up the adhesive making it easier to remove this thing from the back now obviously since this thing's gonna be popping out from the back we want to make sure we can get through here for the f30 and the f32 there's just a few bolts you can pull back the liner and easily grab it for this there's a whole bunch of rivets that first video that i watched said you have to remove but I don't think we have to because this is an x3 m40 specifically there's this vent that goes through here and you guys can't see it but i can literally grab on to the side reflector so that's what we're going to use to take this thing out however just to get us some more space we're going to turn on the car and we're going to turn the wheel to the left so that way we just have some more leverage inside that tight area so like I was saying before, there are a whole bunch of rivets that hold in the fender liner. Now, they're a lot more annoying than those 8mm bolts on the F30 and the F32. So there's a reason why I'm trying to avoid dealing with those. So like I said, guys, we're going to leverage this vent right over here and we're going to get our hand in there. But of course, like I was saying originally, we have to heat this up so that way I can kind of like push this in. Uh, this one, I can actually tell you, already feels like it's coming off. But regardless, though, we're still going to heat it up because if we don't heat it up uh, and you take this off, some of the adhesive is going to remain back here which we don't want to do because it's just going to interfere with the new adhesive on the new side reflector which speaking of the new side reflector not much to really see but here it is guys this is a paint match side reflector from ind distributions for this x3 so in my case i of course have the alpine white but they make it for pretty much every color for the x3 or the x4 so yeah if you guys want this for yourself definitely go check out the links down in the description below i will say you can get this with just itself and you can also get it with the kit that i got personally you guys and i'll show you why i think you should just get it itself i don't think you need the kit i went ahead and paid extra for that kit uh, which i was kind of hinting at before i was using on the other side but i didn't end up needing so with all that said guys i'm gonna get my heat gun i'm gonna heat up the side reflector i'm gonna try to push it out and then i'm gonna try to sneak it through this side vent right over here on the other side it wasn't too bad there was just one plastic piece that kind of got in my way but i was still able to get it out and i was even able to install the new one through that same vent but let's see if we have the same luck this time from that clip i was able to remove the original side reflector just using that side vent and not removing any of the fender liner i was also able to do it with keeping all the 3m tape from the original one intact 
that is super crucial guys because if you don't heat this up enough it's basically going to get stuck behind over here and that's going to get really annoying to clean and you have to make sure you clean it because once you put your new one you don't want to double up on the adhesive because then it's not going to sit flush and it's going to look pretty bad it is a bit of a pain guys and i'm not going to lie to you with cold hands and cold weather all around it definitely makes this worse if you guys can do this in a nice warm garage or even on a nice warm summer day i would highly recommend that because doing it outside not exactly the funnest i do it because i want to make content for you guys and i want to make youtube videos but I'll be honest with you, this is not the most ideal situation for something like this. But for me, it is what it is. I'll manage it. Yeah, anyways, guys, now we have to get behind the bumper and clean it. Now, although we don't have the access from the fender liner, I think having this access should be enough to clean it. I basically just get a microfiber cloth with some like rubbing alcohol. I get it under here and I just clean each side. Although we did take off all the adhesive with the original one, we still want to make sure that behind here is nice and clean so we can get a nice adhesion with the new side reflector. Alright guys, so as you saw, I finished installing this side. As you guys can see, fitment on this thing is really, really good. In terms of the paint match, it's always going to be hard to paint match it because this bumper has been on the car for a long time. So obviously it's faded over time and the side reflector is going to be fresh new paint. So it's not going to match exactly, but still guys, from a distance, you can see how much cleaner, how much better this looks. It looks way better than that orange reflector. Uh, also, since I finished this side, I might as well show you guys the other side. So like I said, the other side is done, but regardless guys, so this one, I did try to do it the original way which has to do with all these tools on the floor here and it has to do with one more tool so if i turn the wheel just so i can quickly show you guys so if you recall i mentioned that there's a whole bunch of rivets that hold in the fender liner now originally in that video that i saw they literally want you to take out all those rivets and pull back the fender liner you also have to pull this back as well that way you can get to your side reflector but the way that they suggested just required so much more work uh, so i actually went ahead and started removing the rivets as you guys can see they're right over here now the downside to these these are only one-time use rivets so literally once you take them out they're pretty much destroyed and they're gone you can't use them again so that means you have to get new rivets which thankfully they do give you but you also have to get a rivet gun as well because these you can't just like insert i guess you have to use like a gun with it technically that does mean you have have to pay more like you guys aren't just buying the side reflectors you have to buy new rivets buy a rivet gun which again isn't that expensive and you can get as a kit but why spend the extra money if you don't have to and like i keep on saying it just seems like so much more work to me like what i did was pretty easy i didn't end up breaking anything i think i installed them pretty well like they're still pretty flush uh even on a cold day like today i managed to make it work when you buy these side reflectors don't get the kit just get the side reflectors themselves and do it the way that i did it you're gonna save time you're gonna save money and honestly i see no reason why you shouldn't do it but again it's totally up to you guys i know this was a bit of a getaway of doing it but hey i don't mind it got the job done but now that i finally fixed it guys i think i'm officially done with the front end of this x3 like i did everything that i wanted to do to this thing i got the black grill i got the boomerangs i got the front lip thanks to keys motorsports i even did the side vents which are kind of on the front end and now i did the paint match side reflectors honestly guys this front end i know i keep on saying it but it looks so freaking good like i just think back to when i first got this thing like it always looked good because it was an m40 so it's sort of like an m sport but it just looks so much better now like i get so much more excited when i walk up to this suv if you guys know me you know that i love my coupes i love smaller cars and i wasn't crazy about getting an suv but now with everything that we've done to it I absolutely love this thing. But obviously we're not done. We have to get some better wheels. We have to give this thing a bit of a drop with some H&R lowering springs. So there's still a lot more that we have to do to this X3. And we have to get into some more performance mods, which I will be doing to it as well. Like I said, I have a JB Plus on it right now, but I do want to take it to stage two. But just be patient with me, guys. It is absolutely freezing. Easy mods like this, it's one thing, but to install like a downpipe and things like that, it's going to be miserable in this cold. So we're probably going to wait a little bit to really go crazy in terms of performance or even those bigger mods like the lowering springs because that as well is going to be torture in the cold unless i find a garage of course and then at that point we can do whatever we want but in the meantime guys we have a whole bunch of like smaller more minor mods for the x3 which i know i say minor but they do make a big difference so uh if you guys want to see more stuff for the x3 if you guys enjoy the build definitely hit that subscribe button also guys go check out the merch store down in the description below anything you guys buy from that store helps me out with these builds helps me make these videos so definitely go check it out go support your boy and yeah with that said guys this video is pretty much done and i'll catch you in the next one. Peace.